communicated and delivering the product to the customers in such a manner that it is going to provide value to the customers. Now the first word of the year is to create the product. Now we will take just one example. If you all know about the concept of Tata Nano. Rapid Tata, one day we observed that in our country India, on one particular vehicle, four to five people, right, they carry on one particular vehicle. So by looking to this scenario, he thought he may be these people are not having such kind of a budget. That's why they are not having an affordability to buy a particular car. So by looking to that scenario, what Rathir Tata he thought about, he will make a lower budget car. No one in the particular world has ever thought about creating such a lower budget car. He thought that he will create a car at a budget of rupees 1 lakh. Right? So, what we are seeing is the scenario, what the customers are facing. So, before creating a product, market it, it, also, it always thinks about what are the customers' needs, what are their wants, what are their preferences. By looking to their needs, wants, preferences, the companies they are going to create the product. Now, the second word that is communication. Now, Rathir Tata thought by looking to the scenario that we will prepare a lower budget car. Now, while communicating, they make one little mistake. They call Nano car as a cheap car. Right? Now, we are positioning the product in the mindset of the customers. Somewhere or the other, there was a wrong perception in the mind of the customers by saying to it as a cheap car. The another scenario it went wrong at that particular time was during this production activity of cars in a particular lot two to three cars were having a certain kind of a damage and because of that damage that person will occur in Tata Nano car a wrong perception again it went in the mind of the customers ki ek lakh ki car Nano lene se achha hai kyun na hum thoda paisa because of the certain damages that were found in the nano car. And at that particular time, what happened was the inflation was going on in the economy. Now, because of that inflation, the prices of the raw materials it went up. Abhi Rathet Tata ne communicate kya kiya tha? The car is going to be for rupees one lakh. Now, because of the inflation, the raw material the spare parts that he consumed in that particular manufacturing of the car, the price it went up. 8 lakh se ho gaya, 8 lakh. Right? So, automatically the customers, they moved on towards Maruti Suzuki Alto. And that's why, somewhere or the other, the concept of Chata Nano failed in the market and the production has already stopped from the previous year. Right? So, what I am going to tell you about over here is, marketing, it takes into scenario the customers first. Right? What customers means, according to it, the companies are going to prepare a particular product. That means, they are going to communicate a product. For example, by taking into consideration the communication part. Now, how you are going to communicate? That is through advertisement. We very well know about Baba Ramdev's Patanjali. Now, how he has made the positioning of this product? If you have seen in the advertisement, Baba Ramdev says, saying as such, Bacho ko chocolate ki gandhi aadat se chukkara paane ke liye patanjali energy ka. Right? Now, what he has done is, he has positioned the product in such a manner. Now, in the mindset, especially in the mindset of the mothers, they are having the emotional point, wanting to touch the children. Now, automatically that comes to mind, Are bacho ko chocolate dene se to daat khara ho jai. It is very easy, it is very difficult for them, for their for the teeth. So, it is better that we can consume Patanjali ka energy ka. Right? So, what is this? This is the positioning of the product. So, by communicating, by making the use as an advertising as a media, you are going to communicate the product. What actually the product is all about. Right? So that the customers will get aware of the product, what your product is all about. Right? Another thing is delivery your product to that of the customers. Delivery is some people, some companies, they directly approach to the customers. 
whereas some companies they break intermediaries in between. For example, if you want to purchase a particular car, you may visit to a retail store. Now there is no wholesaler over here. From distributors, it comes to the retailers. Whereas for the fast moving consumer goods, they go through the channels from manufacturer to wholesaler, from wholesaler to retailer, and from retailer to customer. So this is the delivery medium. Through this various channel, the product is coming to that of the customers. Right? So what the marketing is all about? Creating, communicating, and delivering the product. In such a manner that it is going to provide value to the customer. Now the word over here is value. What is value? Value is something what you call it as benefit plus plus. The cost that you are bearing for purchasing that particular product, according to it, you should get a satisfaction from that particular product. Right? If, for example, we are just taking from the competitive aspect, sensorized toothpaste, how they have communicated, other dhatho me taste in dharam ya khanda khane se, dhatho me other taste in china, china, nasus ho. So, is we have to use the man, sensorized toothpaste. Now, see from the competitive aspect, Hindustan Unilever Limited, right? It is coming from many number of years, it is moving in the market, right? To compete at that particular level, Sensodyne has placed its product in such a manner, has communicated its product in such a manner that people are coming towards it. Why? Because the benefit that they are getting from that particular product. Is that thing clear to you? So what is marketing? By looking to the customer's needs, preferences, you are going to pay, you are going to communicate and deliver it the product in such a manner that it is going to provide value to the product. And another aspect is in today's competitive world, you need to develop a good and a long-term relationship with the customer. That is what we call it as a customer relationship management. For example, if there is an anniversary of yours and you are visiting to a certain restaurant, after having your dinner, after having your lunch, right, they give you the feedback form. In that feedback form, they are asking you certain questions. What is your anniversary day? What is your birthday? Right? So what aspect they are filling this feedback form for you is to keep a long-term, to build a long-term relationship with you. If you are giving a birthday over there, obviously on your particular birthday, they are going to pay you by giving a mail, by giving a message, right? We wish you a very happy birthday from this particular restaurant. So by doing this, what they are doing is, they are creating a long-term relationship with you. They are trying to maintain a good relationship with you. Is that thing clear to you? Next slide. Now, where this marketing approach came from? Further, in the previous years, there was nothing that's what you call it as a marketing. Through certain approaches, the concept it came to marketing process. We will learn one by one. The very first concept is what we call it as a production concept. Right? See, we can see over here, more product quantity is equal to more customers. Now, at that particular time, there was no such kind of a competition in the market. Whatever the company used to produce, the customers used to accept that particular product. The best example is of Ford Motors. Ford Motors, it created an assembly line for production activity. And that particular assembly line used to produce the same type of, or what you call it is the same model of e-cups. Now, at that particular time, Henry Ford gave this concept, right? of assembly line. He used to produce the tea cars only and only of the color black. There was no other color other than the color black. Right? But what was the scenario after this is the model, the tea cars that were produced on that particular assembly line were produced in the lot size and due to which the per unit cost of manufacturing used to come lower. Then we can take the example of a wholesaler and a retailer. When you go to a wholesaler and you buy the bulk quantity, the per unit cost of the product it reduces, right? You are purchasing the product at the lower cost. So the same scenario is been applied in the production department also. 
if they produce in more quantity the per unit cost of the product will reduce and automatically it is going to give the product or you are going to sell the product at the lower price in the market so this production concept was applied by Henry Ford that is the Ford Motors at that particular period of time and the car color was also black no other color but if you take this into consideration in today's competitive world in today's scenario the same thing is not going to happen as such now because now if you will buy only the color black car, cars are the people going to purchase it? no so in today's competitive world this production concept is not going to work out there are some good goals behind it so that's why another concept it came that is what you call it as a product concept now before going to the product concept i am going to tell you a little story during the prime ministership of rajiv gandhi first time uh, during the previous years when the britishers used to rule in our country when they went off there was no concept of liberalization in our country during the rajiv gandhi period time when he was the prime minister he came with the concept of liberalization now what is liberalization liberalization is the foreign companies can come into our country and they can make their business that is what you call it as a liberalization now during that particular time bajaj chetak scooters were famous in the market people before or not there was just a waiting kind of thing for purchasing this particular scooter what we call it as a chetak scooter it was ruling in the market now what happened is as the uh, proposed proposal by dr rajiv gandhi during of that particular concept liberalization rahul bajaj the youngest entrepreneur of our country india rahul bajaj he was against the concept of liberalization why because he knew that if the foreign companies will enter in our country what will happen it will give them the competition and because of it name in the sales may go down but as he was the prime minister he made that the decision rajiv gandhi adopted the concept of liberalization and at that particular time the japanese company honda entered into the market hero honda cd 100 it ruled over the market and drastically the sales of chetak scooters it fell down itna na ho gaya ki the bajaj was almost going to shut down in the market right because of the competition of hero honda cd 100 now at that particular time rahul bajaj he came with the innovative concept he started working on it and he came with the bike what you call it as bajaj pulsar again bajaj pulsar has made a big point in the market and the sales that were they have lost from the indian market they started capturing the sales again and bajaj pulsar again pulled over the market and they grabbed the sales and they are now still in the existence what you call it as a bajaj car now from this the another concept is what we call it as a product concept now the world itself it is described here the focus is only on the product only right over here you need to focus only on your product by improving the features of your product day by day right the picture itself good product quality is equal to more customers so the more the innovations you are bringing in your product more customers who can gain from the market the best example we can take is of hawers everyone knows hawers fans right hawers fans they started with the regular fans first when they first manufactured the fan it was a regular fan but the problem was, was that in the electricity consumption was utilized more in that particular regular fans and because of the people used to wear with expensive bills right so they needed to work on it they needed to modernize the way with it so they started energy saving fans right where the electricity consumption will be very low but the thing was that the wheels that were designed was not in a proper manner the air circulation was not all throughout the room so that's why there was a need to create a special wheels design fans which can create an air circulation throughout the room right so again 
they make such specialized fed and drastically the demand for that particular fed was increased in the market there was a very high demand for that other fed now they know that there is a high demand in the market but they need to retain the customers now right that is the most important scenario so it is very difficult to retain the old customers but it is very easy to gain the new customers so now they want to retain the customers so what they did is they started designing decorative fence which consists of lamps right which you don't need no need to stand up and switch off the switch on and off the this thing switch right you have the remote control you can operate wherever you want so they started such designing such decorative and premium under light fence and because of that they maintain a good value a good position in the market so over here we have learned the concept was all about what you call it as a product concept right the impact was only on how you can improve your product right now the third concept is what you call it as a selling concept right the best example over here you can see in the picture is more sales that is equal to better business the more the number of sales you are doing you will get a better business the best example you can take it is insurance agents in the selling concept they are not having any concern for that of the customers they don't want to know what the customer wants whatever is with them they just want to sell it right so that is what you call it as a selling concept they are not having any concern for that of the customers the only thing is whatever they are having with them they just need to sell it off right that is what you call it as a selling concept even the door to door sales person when they come to our door step to sell something as a product what they will do is tarif pe tarif karte jayenge apne product ki right for so what purpose to sell that product anyhow why because they are having a target that you have to make the sales on this many number of products in this particular day so they are like the concept of selling concept is that in clear view next thing is because of the loopholes of all these concepts the next concept that came was marketing concept i create what they as i have told you in the definition creation communication and delivery of the product and services is such a matter what the customers want right so the concept itself is telling i create what they need that is equal to better this is right so love the customers not the product learn what they want sell what they want satisfy the needs of the customer that is what we call it as a marketing so again there is a difference between a selling concept and a marketing concept in selling concept they are not having any concern for that of the customers whereas in the marketing concept they are having a concern for the customers Their need is to satisfy the customers' more. McDonald's is the best example of marketing concept. When McDonald's came into our country, India, it has studied for six years for just knowing what are the tastes and the preferences of our Indian customers. If you go to foreign countries and visit the Mackey, the taste. is totally different the big product that is known in foreign countries whereas in other country there is a ban for our for the big product why because according to our rituals according to our values we don't consume beef right so mcdonald's it is very necessary to what is the taste and the preferences of their customers of indian customers it is very necessary that's why we know all the key the sausages that they are making everything is in the veggie stuff why because they are serving such type of customers is that clear to you so this is what you call it as marketing concept another concept that is running nowadays is societal marketing concept now the word itself is defining is your needs plus society first 
that is equal to vector movements. Right? Now we know that we need to save our environment by looking into consideration the environment you are producing the product as are as such that you are not causing any harm to the environment. The best example there is the body shop company that is the cosmetic based company. Whatever the product it is making all are only plant based. There is no experiment done on animals. Right? So what they are doing is they are securing the environment by creating such type of product. This is what we call it as a societal marketing concept. You are saving the environment by doing this stuff. Another concept if you know by PNG company, Padega India, Abhito, Badega India, the Shiksha Abhya. Whenever you purchase the PNG product, certain contribution you are doing for the education of the poor children. That's why the concept that they have given Padega India, Abhito, Badega India. By doing this, what they are doing is they are serving the society. For example, if you are buying an IPC full scale book, at the back side, you can see that piece 2 or piece 1, you are contributing for the education of the poor children. So what is this? This is what we call it as a societal marketing concept. So you are serving the customers plus beneficial to that, you are also doing something as a welfare activity for the society. So that is all about the societal marketing concept.